This video is a filmmaker's dream. Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing another haul video for you. Um, although it's like my third or fourth this year, um, it's kind of been like spaced out so hopefully that kind of makes it okay <laughs> but I've got another haul video for you today and this haul video is very specific and sorry about the light in my eyes and I have no makeup on but there we go. Um, this is very specific because it is all film making equipment so if you are not interested in that then feel free to not watch this video but if you want to see what I've been buying which is Basically everything is like off Amazon so you can easily find the stuff that I have bought on Amazon and um, then stay tuned. So first off I'm going to start off with my most recent purchase um, which is a new camera and I spent quite a bit of money on it. Like this is the most expensive, in fact I think this is the most expensive thing I own or at least it's the most expensive thing that I have paid for myself. So this is it and it looks like nothing, I know, it looks, it's smaller than my DSLR, or at least without the um, lens it is anyway. This is a Sony A7S Mark I, not Mark II, and I bought this off another student at my university, um, so he gave me kind of like a cheap price for it, and the screen um, can be flipped out like that, so you can, if you're filming upwards, then you can look down at the screen without having to like uh, angle your head and you can move that out which is pretty good. Uh, haven't actually used this yet because <laughs> he gave me three batteries, the guy I bought it off from, but not the charger and I don't think he can find the charger <laughs> which is annoying but at the same time like I totally understand because he did give it to me slightly cheaper anyway. Um, I paid £900 for it and you'd think that's quite a lot of money for a camera and it is, don't get me wrong, but uh, for this actual camera, this retails at about 1,200 to 1,500. So I got a pretty sweet deal because he also gave me three batteries, a 64 gigabyte memory card, and the um, adapter for the Canon lenses. So I can put my Canon lens, which is on this camera at the moment, onto this as well. And for those of you who are interested, this is a really good camera for actual filmmaking and it's really good in low light and it does slow motion and I can't wait to actually have a working battery so I can use this. Everything else I have bought is in this massive Amazon <laughs> box. Um, I'm still waiting for one delivery which is like a small uh, LED light which I can use on set uh, but that hasn't arrived yet but by the time this video goes up it probably has. So first thing at the top of the box are these and these are spring clamps and you get four in a set and I can't remember how much I paid for these but I think it was like four pounds for the both of them um, and I don't actually want to be like a lighting department when I'm on set but I feel like these are quite essential to have in case for whatever reason no one has any. Just like general use these are quite good but um, I'm probably not going to use them too much because it's not the sort of thing that I want to do. Um, so it was probably pointless me getting these, but it's better to have them than to not in case for whatever reason I do actually need them. Next I have two XLR cables. I have two because I accidentally brought the wrong sized one first. Um, and so this was the first one, which is only one meter, which you think one meter is quite a lot but it's actually not, especially not for a cable. So this was like three pounds, I think, um, but it's not long enough. So I went and bought another one <laughs> and this is a three meter cable one. And uh, this connects to the microphone, which I'm not actually using today because I'm too lazy and I couldn't be bothered to set it up. So sorry if it sounds a bit crap, there you go. Uh, so I'm not using that today, but this is three meters, which is much better than a one meter one. And I think this was about 4.99. Next I have this, which is, I can't remember what it's called. It's, a hot, it's got hot shoe plates on it. So it's got three in the shape of a V, you've got one up here, one here and one in the middle. And this just goes on top of your camera, which is where my light is currently sitting. And that means that you can apply three different things. So I could have my light, my microphone and something else on there if I wanted. And I think this was about seven pounds off Amazon. 
Next I have this and this is a Tascam which is a sound recorder so when you're out doing sound recordings for films um, and you know you have like the boom pole that someone holds um, we can record into this thing and it just makes the sound quality a lot better than if I would have the sound recording from the camera or using an external mic into the camera which is what I usually do for my um, YouTube videos although again I was lazy and didn't put the microphone on today. <laughs> this was £133 and this is what you use the XLR cable for to connect this to the microphone. I can't stand you but I just can't stand you. Next I have some cable ties and these are reusable ones so I just feel like this is going to be a lot better than the ones where you just break once you've used them once and I think I get 200 in these. Um, yeah 200 times 8 millimeter black uh, cable ties um, and I think these were about five pounds as well. Next I have this belt which has a lot of pockets on it and a couple of other things so I'm going to talk through this but this belt came with all of these black pouches and it came with one extra but because I'm quite small and skinny I had to take it off because otherwise it wouldn't fit on me the belt. <laughs> you actually get six pouches and they're all different shapes and sizes for you to put things that you'll need on set so like uh, screwdrivers or a uh, Leatherman. So this belt was £14.99 by itself um, but I got a couple of other things to go with it such as this Leatherman. So this is my Leatherman and it is the Leatherman rebar and it has several different components to it um, so it's got a screwdriver it's got a couple of knives and um, I just think because I, I'm I, again I don't want to do like lighting or anything quite as heavy as that sort of thing on set so um, this will probably do a good job just for general use um, but it doesn't have small scissors on it, that probably could have been quite helpful, but this one doesn't have scissors. And this was £61. Next I have another pouch which I actually don't think I need, so I might sell this. Um, I mean I could send it back but I think it's a bit late for that. Um, this is just another pouch which can be used for like, I guess anything. But on this it comes with a really big pouch here, so I probably don't need this extra one, especially as um, there's hardly any space on the rest of that belt, because uh, I'm so small. Um, so I might get rid of this. <laughs> Again, I think this was only about £5. Next I have this thing. <laughs> Look at it, it's pretty cool isn't it? So I first got this belt which is part of the Dirty Rigger range, and I think this was like seven pounds I'm not sure but it's a gaffer belt and so you basically just put gaffer tape and other things that you want to put on it um, this gaffer tape is literally the size of my face um, and this is from a website I think it was called gaffertape.com but I went through the Limark uh, website which took me to there and this is the MAGA tape and this was about six pounds. I also have this which I'm not sure what you call it but I got it from a film and TV um, convention back in February and this can be used to attach a head of a tripod to the camera um, and it just screws on. It's actually not helpful but it was free so you know. Going back to these tapes I have some electrical tapes. I have five I think one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six, all different colours, um, and these are just good for wires um, when you're on set, just taping them down, or if they need to be coiled up when you're tidying away, you can use these tapes. And then I have these crocodile clips, which are good for lighting, and if you have gels or diffusion that needs to go over the lights, you can use these. Um, I have a few more on the actual belt you can use these to attach them to the lights. I think that's it. Um, I have actually spent quite a bit of money on all this stuff. Um, none of it has been used yet because I just haven't been out filming, which for a film student is a really bad thing because I'm kind of scared to go out on shoots that's not my own, if that makes sense. Like if I'm working on someone else's project, I don't want to mess it up. So kind of not been putting myself forward for stuff which is really really bad especially coming towards the end of the first year 
but hey these things happen i need to grow in confidence um but yeah if you have enjoyed this video and you've been inspired by my filmmaking um or the amount of money that i've spent because i have spent a lot um uh, give it a thumbs up if you are new hello and subscribe by clicking the button down there i would very much appreciate it and i will see you very very soon bye my nose is itchy